every stage winner has earned the Dauphiné leader's jersey. Yet Primoz Roglic, the first to win twice at the Colle del Var, followed by another demonstration of strength up the Saint-Morin yesterday. The Slovene untouchable at the moment, yet that all could change. Matteo Jorgensen in second and the Visma man leaning on past experience to remain positive. I'll have my eye on Primoz for sure the whole day and, and yeah, also Perinice I started the last day in, uh, in second position and yeah, that finished uh, differently so I'm, I'm ready to give it my all and um, for sure if I see an opportunity I'll take it. Laurent de Plus is in the form of his life. The Belgian can live with the best on the climbs yet more than happy to be in service of Ineos's leader. Uh, maybe we try to, to get uh, Carlos on the podium. Uh, the team is, is yeah, we, we want to have the podium, that's for sure. If we are five or seven in GC, it's not the, not the goal in the beginning of the week. So, yeah, try to move up today. Twice second this Dauphiné, Giulio Ciccone looking for the missing ingredient to finally get himself on the top rung. Roglic uh, for the moment is really, is really, really good, so it's really hard to beat him. But for sure, we, we're going to try. Today is a bit different the final, so maybe we have more chance, but we need to see, we need to see the climb before. The, we also expect some rain uh, after one o'clock, so I think we'll be really on our stage. It's not been a week for the breakaway. Guillaume Martin hoping to buck the trend, especially as he celebrates his 31st birthday. On voit que sur le World Tour et surtout sur les courses d'une semaine, il y a de moins en moins d'opportunités pour les, les échapper. Même quand il y a des écarts assez importants, ça peut très vite revenir dans le, dans le final. Sur les dernières étapes, souvent le Dauphiné, ça se joue quand même entre, entre les favoris de général. Donc voilà, la, la, la probabilité est faible, mais, mais je pense qu'il faut quand même essayer de la saisir. A tough start and an even harder finish. If the breakaway fail to build a meaningful gap, the race will open up for the GC in the second half. The climb to the Plateau de Glière should produce an explosive finale. Roglic lost the Dauphiné title before the final stage in 2020. The Slovene will want to avoid a repeat. A breakaway of 10 skipped ahead of the peloton up the Côte de la Four Classe de Montmain. A large cast of players hoping for a big break. Birthday boy Martin alongside compatriots Godu, Amaray and Prodom, while Soler, Velens and Superveda hoping for better than the previous day's attempt. Lorenzo Fortunato started the day in Roglic's polka dot jersey. The Italian had collected 12 points to be the virtual king of the mountain, but he surprisingly fell back, suddenly the Ineos paced peloton in sight. Marc Soler could almost taste the first win in two years yesterday, the Catalan going again and the first over the summit at Le Salève. Just two points now of Fortunato, the Italian hoping that neither Soler nor Roglic would win the stage. With 50 kilometers to go, Fortunato attempted and failed to cross back to the break. The gap manageable, with the GC riders looking for a stage win. Ineos hoping to place Carlos Rodriguez there, as well as on the overall podium. However, the pause button was pressed in the peloton's pursuit. A comfort break for Rodriguez saw Ineos sit up, Roglic as well needing to reconnect as the gap grew to over two minutes. Therefore, Lidl Trek sent Ciccone's lieutenants forward. Mas Pedersen taking charge, destroying the lead built up, eventually crashing down to just 58 seconds. The escapade's fate sealed. Les hommes de tête sont au pied de l'ascension finale, dernière ascension de ce critère du Dauphiné, sommet à 9 km 400. Pedersen taking a well-earned break. Visma's Theus Benut striding forward as they almost had the head of the race in sight. American champion Sean Quinn reacted, followed by Martin, with nine kilometers from the summit. Then the first major attack as the race came to life. Ciccone not only catching the escapades, the Italian quickly going solo, 15 seconds over the GC group. Trying to cool down the gradient too hot for Godu, 
De Plus with plenty in the tank as his pace shed those who couldn't keep up. Jack Haig distancé, Mikel Landa distancé. Ciccone with company in his rear view mirror. Remco Evenepoel unable to match the output. After his past workload, Vlasov dropped out and with Roglic isolated, his rivals look to profit. Jorgensen, Derek G and Rodriguez digging deep to create a chasm. Roglic without support, choosing to stick with Ciccone with time in hand, but suddenly the title was in play. Jorgensen needed a swing of around a minute depending on time bonuses. Roglic still on course for the title, but no longer a done deal. Pure drama on the final ascent. Derek G looks to have announced himself this week, but the Canadian cracked. That left a clean fight between Visma and Ineos. The stage of potentially the title up for grabs as they hurtled towards the finish. Who's going to win this stage? Jorgensen has to, because in order to win this Dauphiné, he needs every second that's possible. But on the line, it's going to be Rodriguez who wins the stage. But now it's the fight for time. Working this out. This rider needs to get here in 56 seconds. If he does get within 56 seconds, Roglic will win the Dauphiné. It's going to be so, so close. We're coming up to 40 now. 40 seconds, 41. Is he going to do it? Roglic, is he going to win this Dauphiné? He's going to do it just in a matter of seconds. Seven seconds, I make it. Carlos Rodriguez timing his ascent to perfection. A third win of the season as the Spaniard beat Jorgensen to the line. The 23-year-old looking strong ahead of the Tour de France and a big thanks to De Plus and his team for setting the scene. After crashing out in yellow in 2020, no such heartbreak this time for Roglic, who survived a late crisis to hold on to the title by a whisker in a thrilling climax. Wow, what a finish. Uh, I mean, I suppose you were not, maybe not uh, expecting it to be so tight. Uh, yeah, not really. I mean, uh, looking to myself, quite crazy, actually, to to be able to, to win Dauphiné uh, with uh, yeah, the things that uh, everything happened in between. So, beautiful. After a stage win on the Tour of the Basque Country and overall at the Tour of Romandy, Rodriguez top dog on the final day of the week. Teammate De Plus fourth, with Bahrain's Butrago fifth. Roglic's second Dauphiné title by just eight seconds. Last year, Jonas Vinegar did the Dauphiné and Tour double. Roglic dreams of doing likewise. The 34-year-old also claiming the green jersey, that despite the pressure from Jorgensen and Ciccone. Yet the Sloven couldn't hold on to the polka dots. Fortunately, Fortunato's early graph paying off his first jersey of 2024. Jorgensen missing out on yellow, but dominant in white. The American ending a tough week for Visma on a high. A dramatic Dauphiné finale a perfect Tour de France tune-up, and now just three weeks until the Peloton line-up in Florence for the Grand Départ.